Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at images of an elderly patient who presented to emergency department following blunt trauma, patient underwent CT examination. On the CT examination on the lung windows, we can see soft tissue emphysema in the neck and in the chest wall bilaterally. On the bone window settings, we can see multiple left-sided rib fractures with associated hemothorax. So these findings were recognized. Also, the radiologist who read the scan commented saying that there is hematoma in the mediastinum which also surrounds the thoracic iota but no obvious reason was identified. The scan was reviewed few hours later. At this point, the radiologist noticed tiny intimal flaps in the descending thoracic iota, another tiny intimal flap without obvious external contour abnormality. So our patient who has sustained blunt trauma has tiny intimal flaps in the descending thoracic iota. I'm just going to show you the comparison images from a CT performed many years ago. We can see these tiny intimal flaps were not present on the prior study. So our patient essentially has minimal aortic injury. Few teaching points from this article. In terms of blunt traumatic aortic injury, it is classified based on the presence or absence of external aortic wall abnormality. In terms of definition, minimal aortic injury is defined by subcentimer intimomedial abnormality with no external contour abnormality. This includes both SVS grade 1 and SVS grade 2 injuries. The lesion is commonly seen in the isthmus of descending thoracic aorta. SVS grade 1 injuries are characterized by round or triangular intraluminal filling defects less than a centimeter or a focal thin intimal flap whereas SVS2 injuries are characterized by small intramural hematoma likely related to the ruptured vasa vasorum or small intimomedial tears. So MAI is characterized by small intimal flap which can be less than one centimeter or more than one centimeter but without external contour abnormality. There can be a small thrombus attached to the intimal flap or SVS grade 2 injury which still falls under the MAI spectrum can have small intramural hematoma but without contour abnormality. Possible etiologies for injury to the thoracic iota in blunt traumatic aortic injury could be due to stretching or due to the shear effect at the site of attachment of ligamentum arteriosum or pinching between the osseous structures or increased intravascular pressure causing water hammer effect. I hope you found this case of minimal aortic injury where the findings can be subtle to be interesting and informative. Thanks for your attention.